Hello and welcome again to Junior Sabres Journal, a recap of recent action by the Buffalo Junior Sabres in the Ontario Junior Hockey League. The team went into a two-game skid mid-October with losses to North York at home and Georgetown on the road, but then battled to a 5-4 win over the struggling but never say quit Stouffville Spirit. The team then faced the division rival Brampton Admirals in an important home-and-home -home series. Coming into it, the clubs were tied for second in the OJHL West Division, but the Junior Sabres emerged winners in both games, 5-3 at home on October 24th, and then 5-1 at Brampton on the 27th. Head coach Nick Tuzzolino looks back on the home win. It was a good hockey game. Uh, I think the last couple here have been chippy, which is you know fun hockey to play. Um, you know, I'd like to see our team uh, you know, maybe finish in a couple more chances and you know, maybe not have them be dog fights all the way to the end, but at the end of the day, you know, they're, they're pushing through and they're getting the result. We've seen players once again, uh, you know, not necessarily the same guys you fall back on who have scored Novo had, had two in, in the win against the Admirals. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, that's, that's kind of how the team was built. Like, I know there's four lines on a team, but I don't deem us having a fourth line. Um, you know, Novo's a guy every single game who could do that. He has a tremendous amount of skill, plays on special team situations. Uh, it's one of those things that's just a matter of time. Seems like uh, some of your defensive pairings are looking a lot more comfortable with each other out there. Uh, Grupp and Berger look very comfortable together. Yeah, they did look good together. Um, you know, it's kind of hard having eight defensemen this year, and you know, we've done a good job of trying to get everybody blended together. And I think for the most part, all eight can play with anybody. And uh, you know, those two especially have done a good job of stepping up in the last couple of weeks and playing a hard-nosed game. And once again, uh, your goaltender comes through. Yeah, you know, Andrew. Uh, I don't think he got overly tested tonight, but when he did, he was there for it. Um, you know, special teams was big. Penalty kill obviously did a great job in front of him and. He was there uh, with that big body and that aggression towards the end to be a presence and uh, it was all around a good effort from him. Forward Matt Novo had three goals in the home and home series, including two at Harbor Center. I mean, you had two goals and looked like you were maybe hungry for a couple more out there. Yeah, uh, kind of upsetting. Uh, my second game, getting two goals in the first period, and I can't finish it off with a hat trick, but just happy we got two points tonight for sure. Your first goal, uh, the, the play breaks, you know, Farah and Hora get it out of the zone. You're carrying it in. You look like, you know, you're hesitating, you're hesitating, and then you see that opportunity. You somehow get it by the goalie. Tell me what was going on in your mind uh, on that first goal. Uh, well, it was just a neutral zone regroup, and Hora threw it up to me, and then uh, I just walked in the zone, and then. Uh, I gave the guy a little fake shot and he bit on it and I walked around him and then uh, I found a spot under in the goalie. So, Team's been uh, having some tough battles against some division rivals, Burlington, you know, Brampton, and uh, I mean the rivalries are really starting to emerge and then you, you get right in there. I mean it doesn't doesn't matter who's in there, you're, you're willing to, to, to get in the faces of anybody. Yeah, I just like to protect my teammates out there and not let our younger guys get pushed around at all. So. With me being 20 years old, I kind of feel like I have the responsibility of uh, taking care of some of them out there. We dare compared this, uh, my broadcast partner and I, we kind of compared you to Brad Marchand of Boston. That guy that <laughs> kind of, he's, he's, that, he's that pest that you'd sign in a heartbeat, but you hate to play him. Is that a fair comparison? Yeah, that's what a lot of coaches told me in the past, and I really like the way he plays, so I kind of modeled my game after him a little bit. Buffalo dropped a tough 5-4 double overtime decision on the road at Brantford to close out their October schedule. Heading into the first weekend of November, the Junior Sabres sat in second place in the OJHL West, 10 points behind Oakville, but six points ahead of Brampton. The Junior Sabres will briefly be without the services of their speedy, scoring 16-year-old forward Spencer Smith, who was called up to Team Canada for the World Under-17 Challenge, happening in New Brunswick the first full week of November. Smith, a native of St. Catharines, Ontario, was called to fill a spot made available due to another player's injury. While recognizing some unfortunate luck was involved, Smith looks forward to the opportunity to represent his homeland. I'm just looking forward to meeting these new guys, these uh, players that have been playing on the high levels like in the OHL, and especially playing with Quinton Byfield this uh, upcoming two weeks will be an amazing experience. It's, just an amazing, amazing opportunity. You have to have luck on your side to do amazing things. So I got the luck this time, and hopefully I can uh, make the most of this opportunity. Your father also joked uh, in the stands tonight that uh, you'll get to miss some school. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a lot of homework for me over the next two weeks, but I, I'm going to have to do what I have to do to keep my marks up and so I can uh, play at this high level. 
but this does put you on the radar for, for Hockey Canada. So when you're called up for something like that, it's an honor that, you know, your homeland's paying attention. Yeah, it is. Especially uh, every single time you put on that Canadian sweater, it's just an amazing opportunity. Not everybody can say say they have put on that uh, Canadian sweater, but it's just, uh, I'm just... I'm just so uh, happy that everybody believed in me and that I could get this far in my like, uh, journey so far. During the month of November, the Buffalo Junior Sabres will be holding a winter food drive to benefit the Food Bank of Western New York. Bring in any non-perishable food items to any of our home games in November at Harbor Center. Donations can be dropped off at the press box, level 7 by section 9. Thank you for your generosity. The Junior Sabres have a busy first half of November. Here are their home dates heading later into the month. Wednesday, November 7th, they host the division-leading and Canadian nationally ranked Oakville Blades beginning at 7.30 inside Harbour Centre. Sunday, November 11th, Veterans Day in the U.S. and Remembrance Day in Canada, the Junior Sabres welcome the Newmarket Hurricanes for a 6.30 opening face-off. Buffalo then hosts the Brantford 99ers on Friday, November 15th, beginning at 7.30 p.m., and then the Burlington Cougars, Sunday the 17th, beginning at 6.30 p.m. Jeff Boyd and I have the call on both Hockey TV, the official video streaming platform of the OJHL, and the Buffalo Junior Sabres internet radio channel, which can be found on the team's official website. That's it for this edition of Junior Sabres Journal. I'm Michael Mrosiak. Thanks for listening. We'll see you at the rink.